Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. The Seven of Pentacles in Reverse with the Chariot in the Reverse. Your person's saying you both, they're recognising that both of you have put a lot of time and effort into this connection in one way or another. So whether it's physical effort, emotional effort, mental effort, um, <clears throat> just, you know, struggling, thinking about this, feeling this connection, or, um, you know, maybe you've spent time together, you've invested your money, your time, your resources. Um, but they're saying for some reason they've pulled back, um, or it might seem to you that they have checked out of this connection at this time. And we'll see if they have or not, but the reason it seems this way for now, with the chariot in reverse, is that they're feeling overwhelmed. Something's happened to... Um, something probably unexpected, I'm getting an image of the tower card and it's thrown them off, it's making them feel like they haven't got control of things, it's not a good time to move forward. So you could be dealing with a Cancer or have Cancer in your chart, also um, Pisces as well. Okay, <clears throat> so can we get some more messages please? I almost said can we get some real messages, so maybe, you know, your person saying that they've never really told you their real feelings or really what's going on with them the king of wands wow yeah this is the thing this person is driven motivated passionate about you but they're sitting down why on earth is the king of wands reclining you know he he is not the king to sit back and do nothing he has a spanner in his hand so perhaps working with tools um and lots of sort of um home home uh, tools, I suppose, up here. So we've got a mop, we have um, like a cleaning brush, a rake. Um, so is your person weighed down right now by work or responsibilities or things to do with the home? Is, does he feel like he sort of has to fix everything, fix everybody else's problems? And I'm saying he because it's a king, but your person could be a woman. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Fixing a broken home is what I'm hearing. Now, this could be with a karmic, it could be a home that's in the ancestral family. Um, but your person's coming across as like a, you know, um, like a sort of handy andy fix it all, everyone goes to him or her um, to keep things together. Wow, okay. Yes, the King of Swords in reverse, they want to speak this truth. They're not done. Some of you will be happy to hear that, some of you won't be. Um, but they're saying right now, yes, they've, got, they've had to pull back. And oh, they're saying it's a familiar pattern. So your person is acknowledging, and this is maybe, this particular message might be a little bit from their 5D higher selves, saying, I know it's a pattern, I come forward, then I have to pull back. So there's an apology there that I'm feeling. Because the Three of Swords reversed, it's not fresh pain, it's not brand new, it's not entirely unexpected, but it's still not exactly a favourable action or outcome, you know, it still is, it's like you have a wound and then, um, you know, someone comes along and pokes it. It's still not very nice, but you're not entirely surprised, you're not surprised to hear that this person's got some things that they need to get um, a solid grip on. Okay, messages please to my viewers. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, something practical. Work, family, finances, health, even with that image coming through about the, the black sludge in the veins at the start. Something like that is, is taking priority necessarily over their sort of, um, you know, desire, need, want to, to move this forward with you, to be romantic, to kind of, to flirt, to be playful. Um, they're saying they're having to put their happiness, desires, um, their feelings for you on, the, on a back burner or on the back burner for now. So, okay, fine, let's get one more card and then we'll get some more detail. And we have the Fool. Do you know, this sort of came up on Monday, didn't it? That your person was stepping forward and then they retreated because they, something happened to do with a, an established situation it kind of pulled them back in. So what is happening here? A new beginning? Somebody did something stupid and your person's repairing the damage? Wow, let's see. Okay. On the back we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So yeah, your person is saying, 
Well, firstly, they're exhausted. They can't catch a break to sit down and, and collect their thoughts. And B, you know, the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords reversed. We're, as I said, in that stage where this is a familiar pattern. You've seen this before. This is not new to you. And your person knows, you know, you're tired of this. They're actually feeling tired of it too. Okay. So let's start with what your person wants to say, shall we? The Knight of Swords in the reverse. I'm actually wondering, are they going to say this soon? We've got the Ace of Cups. Tell us about the Knight of Swords, please. <laughs> if your person's been putting on an act, putting on some kind of act to make you think that they're, you know, dangerous, edgy, really cool, it hasn't worked out for them, you, you haven't been impressed and they're wanting to drop this act. Um, yeah. And I kind of feel that your person's a bit too old for this behaviour. I mean, if you look at this guy, from a distance you might think he's sort of like early to mid-twenties at the most, but if you come close, to me he kind of looks a bit older than that and it's almost like, aren't you too old to be behaving this way, impressing, you know, this is only going to impress very young people. I, as in you the viewer, I'm not impressed by this. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see, what does he want to say? The Knight of Pentacles, so things have been taking a really long time, but I'm committed to moving this forward in a very steady way, in a way that's secure, grounded, um, because I recognize, you know, the Knight recognizes the Knight of Pentacles that he's going to be a King of Pentacles one day. So he's planning for the future, he's not rushing because he understands that the moves he makes are serious, they have long-term consequences. So your person is taking you and this connection seriously. They are saying, I feel like everything is against me, fate, the universe, God, luck, whatever your person calls it. You know, it's, it's against me every time I try to move forward, some, I heard some shit, so something happens, somebody does something and I have to go and fix it or... Just, I keep hearing broken, breaks, something breaks, something has broken, I've got to fix it. It might not be as literal as, oh look, a thing has broken, let me get my spanner and fix it, you know. Um, but they feel like they, they have to fix everything all the time. Things are always breaking, they always have to keep things together. Um, <clears throat> and I think they're getting as sick of it as you are. Exactly, the four of wands. There is something to do with a foundation, again, work a karmic, a family, um, friends, whatever it is, it's an intrinsic foundation for them, to them in their lives, and they keep having to do maintenance on this, general repairs, you know, <laughs> they have to keep this, this together for some reason, and it always falls on them to do it. Anything else? What else does this Knight of Swords want to say? Your person isn't as, as good as you at communicating their feelings. He or she is showing up as a knight rather than a queen or a king. But the knight is, is honest, you know, um, even if he's not elegant about it, which is fine, isn't it? I mean, just speak your truth, whatever, however it comes out. <laughs> the knight is honest. And then we get the seven of swords, brilliant. Right, let's, <laughs> let's see, let's see what's going on here. Maybe your person's tired of wearing a mask, of being deceptive, and they want to be honest. But let me see. Yes, the moon in reverse. Wow, you can't see half of these cards. I'm so sorry. Let me move these over. Yeah, so your person is wanting to speak their truth, wanting to, to stop being sly, sneaky. See how this fox is sitting on this blade here? To me, this is the Ace of Swords. This is the one... Um, thread of truth that your person hasn't been um, presenting to you or they've been doing it in a sneaky way hints here little mentions there nods to this nods to that but your person is saying I want to just speak my truth now yeah see the king of pentacles on the back I want to take this seriously I want to be open honest with you to move this forward to ground this but there's something over here <clears throat> so let's see what this is shall we Many of you will probably know, yeah, this thing's got them stuck, the hanged man. Your path is probably thinking deeply, what can I do? How can I manoeuvre within this situation? How can I maybe leave this situation? Or let's say it's a family 
the, you know, the family they grew up in, parents, siblings, that sort of thing. How can I reposition myself so I'm not always the go-to or I'm not always the fixer or the repairer? Right. What else, please? What is this situation with the Ten of Pentacles? What's going on here? We've got Aries here as well. And it's, mm, okay, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's a struggle, it's a battle. They're exhausted. They're always the one who's carrying the burden, carrying the weight. It could be that they are um, financially responsible for someone or some people. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We, yeah, we've got the Ten of, of Cups and the Five of Wands in reverse. So we're looking at a situation involving more than one other person, whether it's a friend group, um, a family, but the Five of Wands is reversed. So your person saying, although there are many other people in this situation, um, it's always me. I'm the one doing everything. These other people are not pulling their weight. It could be the other people um, are children, you know, like toddlers, in which case, fine, you know. <laughs> no one expects a toddler to go out and earn a living. But your person does feel that... Um, they're responsible for everything and everyone around them. They're responsible for keeping this situation happy. Again, if it's work for your person, they are doing their work, they're doing the work of their colleagues, you know, they're the one keeping the team happy. <clears throat> okay, so can we get some overall messages? What does this person want to say about this situation or anything to my viewer, to my subscriber? I mean, what are they planning to do? Do they want to talk about any upcoming actions? Anything like that? Anything? More messages, please. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Let's get some more to see how he fits in here. Ooh, the Devil in reverse. So we have Capricorn energy. I think I mentioned Pisces earlier before the moon came out. world see here's that thing that needs to go whatever it is that's that's poisoning them literally or metaphorically you know they need to to cut this out and spirit is encouraging them saying yeah end this cycle you know move yourself into a better cycle we've got the queen of cups in reverse so your person they're not this is someone who in the past was a bit reckless they were behaving in an immature way they're not doing that anymore but they've not yet stepped into this mature energy of the King of Pentacles. So they're in this horrible in-between period. Sorry about the sirens. Um, they always seem to go off when I'm reading. It's probably symbolic, isn't it? Um, so they're in this in-between period and it's like they might be drinking, overeating, distracting themselves because it's difficult. Finding their footing as this new version of themselves is difficult. So there's some distraction here. And Spirit's saying, come on. We're encouraging you to, to literally be the fool and launch yourself into this new life. There's a disconnect, a covering up. Um, they feel emotionally, I heard, vulnerable, fragile, but very emotionally stressed out. So your person is saying, I'm not going to sit with these feelings because they make me feel really awful. So let me cover up. Let me try and address the practical thing or things that are going on in my life that are making me feel out of control. And that's very sensible, but I wonder if in this case it's going to be more helpful for them to say, let me sit with these feelings and figure out what exactly is making me feel this way. And then I can address the practical 3D um, tangible things rather than the reverse. Yeah, see the hermit reverse. There's a need to go within to stop being so busy, distracting themselves. We have Virgo energy as well. Okay, any other messages, please, for my viewers and my subscribers? <clears throat> we have the lovers, we have Gemini, twin flame energy. Oh, yes, look, look, look. This person is sad. They want to be flying, you know, high with you. Um, you know, we think of birds representing freedom, so just flying above 
all of their problems, all of these constraints. They don't want to be the problem solver. They just, you know, they just don't want to have these burdens, these, these worries anymore. And they're sad because they're thinking about you. They feel probably that some regret here, some disappointment maybe within themselves, within the fact that they feel that something is against them. Every time they try to move forward, something comes up. Um, but yeah, they're really thinking about you at this time and they want you to know this. And they're imagining you and thinking of, of this connection in a really positive light, you know, best case scenario. Um, thinking of the both of you together in union, in a relationship, in a home, how that would look, the sort of how you'd have fun together, the experiences you'd have, um, how you would help each other grow, ascend. We have justice, Libra energy, and three of cups in reverse. So there's a choice to make. Your person understands there's a need to no longer be sneaky and to hide things. There's a need to be fair and balanced. If you have a third person, so if you're with someone or you have uh, several people or admirers or, with, or they just think that you do, I'm not saying you do, they might believe that you do. They're saying, choose me. It's right. It's fair. It's balanced that I am the one with you. There's no room for three of us here or however many, whether it's on their side or your side. Yeah, there's just the sadness. They want this this happiness to maybe to go on a date with you, to have some drinks, to have dinner, whatever it is, to just be with you, to have a nice time. Um, and they feel that they keep trying. I'm seeing someone in like um, a hole in the ground, but it's sort of metal and there's a ladder. They, so they can climb out, but it's a very long ladder and they keep climbing up. And every time they get to the top, to the light, it's like someone, you know, knocks them back down and they're getting really tired of this. They haven't given up because we have the nine of wands, but they are getting pretty tired, exhausted. Um, and it's like they're saying, why? Why can't this be easier? Why can't we just be together? Just you and me, see? In each of these cards, we have two. There are no, there are no other people interfering, family, friends, other relationships. It's just the both of you. Okay. So let's get um, some other messages. Where should we start? What should we start with? Let's start with these. Okay. <clears throat> what do you want? So your person might feel that things have changed a bit. Perhaps you're interacting in a different way with them and they're not sure where you stand anymore or what it is that you want to have with them. Um, again, if you have, if they perceive you as also having a choice to make, they're saying, well, well, which choice is it? If it's between them and someone else, who do you want? Or if it's between living a very um, single, independent life or merging your lives together, you know, which, what do you want to do? Wow, yeah, we can make this work. So I told you, they're not giving up. They are determined. They're feeling exhausted, feeling that, you know, it's almost like, fate is against me that's kind of the the feeling i'm getting but they do want to make this work okay we have a few on the floor okay so let's oh okay we have prostitution so um this could be in a very literal sense maybe <clears throat> something to do with um sex work sex workers your person maybe wants you to know something about that um, this could also be someone saying they feel that they are sort of prostituting themselves, an ability they have, um, or for work, you know, they're doing something that's bad for them because something they do, a service they provide is in demand and they're getting highly paid or they need the money, but it, it doesn't feel good. We have no in the reverse. So, yes, <laughs> just want what I can't have. So heads up, red flag for some of you. It might be if you are out of reach, if you do have someone else, they are looking at you and thinking, um, or not thinking, but maybe the fact they can't have you makes you more desirable. Um, really, to be honest, given the rest of the reading, that doesn't really sort of sit right for me. I mean, you will know if this is, if this really um, hits home, but... I think to me what they're saying is what I want most right now in the world is you and I cannot have you and look how it makes me feel I'm tired 
you know I'm, I'm fed up with this I just want it to be easier and we have yes the posts are for you in the reverse there's something they don't want you to see online um, maybe it's something they hid from you in the past or they might feel insecure if you sort of see the things they're up to or um, I don't know really I mean take this as it resonates but I just get the feeling there's something they're trying to keep from you they don't want you to see it because of what you might think of them maybe it's to do with prostitution um, or whatever has been an obstacle you know, let's say you've said to your person, I think I think that your parents are a little bit too involved in your romantic connections. They might feel uncomfortable about you seeing pictures of them with their parents or the comments their parents make on things, you know, whatever it is, but there's something they kind of don't want you to really see because they think it's, it's going to be detrimental to your connection. Okay, let's see what's on the back. Running out of time, yeah. They do understand that there's a need to move this forward. They don't, they don't have forever. Um, and I think they have been trying, but it's that image again. They've climbed the ladder. They've been pushed back down. And maybe spirit is pushing them back down, saying, well, yeah, you've done, say, five out of six things that you need to do to be ready for this union, but you, you have one thing left. You know, you need to close out whatever is toxic. You need to set better boundaries. You know, we all know <laughs> that spiritual ascension is not um, always sitting in meditation peacefully and, and you know, um, drinking herbal tea. Sometimes it's pretty rough. Okay, so can we get some final messages, please, from this person to my viewer, to my subscriber? Songs are speaking to me so songs lyrics are reminding them of you if there's a shared song you have they're probably hearing it a lot you know when they get into the car the radio comes on and it's your song also you may be getting messages from them in songs and this is very deliberate it's probably you know their higher selves trying to communicate with you to let you know where things are at to bring you particular answers here you know to questions you might have i need to go my own way for a while yes and that is why they sort of came forward whether it was literally or you just felt it energetically and now they've they seem to have retreated and gone quiet with the hanged man i'm a better person because of you so you've helped them to see things differently um probably to feel more connected to themselves to realize what's working for them in their life what isn't when i get this card i always feel that you the viewer are the last person to see this, this change, to um, in a way benefit from this. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's just the fact they need to tell you this, it shows you haven't seen it. But you know, if you're wondering, have I, am I significant to them? Have I made any impact on their lives? Yes, absolutely, and it's a positive impact. Like I said, they're only thinking of you fondly um, at this time, whenever you watch this video. <clears throat> uh, yes, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You, do, you didn't deserve that. Okay, yep. Okay, so there's that regret, that sadness. Let's get two more messages. And then we'll have six, which is the number of Union, divine love. I know I made a huge mistake. Mm. Okay. And the last one. Yes, exactly. This is the thing. My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realised. That was this Ten of Cups um, situation that we looked at over here. Um, something to do with a family. It could be, you know, I've, I've gone through it. So it could be a family at work, you know, a family of co-workers, colleagues, that sort of thing. It could be parents, siblings, cousins, aunts, their traditions, their values. This could be a family with a karmic. But this is, this is what they are fixing. And there's possibly some mistake they've made, perhaps positioning themselves as being a source of stability, being the one people depend upon. And they're saying that was a huge mistake because now I've, I've really got to find my way out of this and figure out how I can create some wiggle room. Let's see what's on the back. 
yeah, you inspire me. So you don't know, you don't know how much you inspire them or the fact that they are um, growing, evolving because of you. But they are. Okay, so um, I will leave it here. Thank you for watching. Oh, wait, no, we're doing the one question, one card reading. So I'm going to do that now. If you want to enter for the next reading, just put your question in the comments below. If you're leaving here, I hope this was helpful. If not, let's, um, let's move forward. Okay, so thank you for your question, Shilpa. Let's see. Is your person going to meet with you soon? So, Spirit, is Shilpa's person going to meet with her soon? Okay, so Shilpa, is he going to meet with her soon? Can you give us a card, please? Is he going to meet with her soon? We have the Seven of Wands. I do feel that right now he's still probably pushing this and you away for whatever reason, maybe even sort of blocking you, whether it's a literal blocking online, whether it's blocking you out of his heart space. Um, this card, the, the image makes me feel that he's making hard work of things for himself. I mean, t toothbrushes are great for cleaning intricate spaces, but you don't need to clean an entire toilet with a toothbrush. So making something difficult, making harder work of it than it needs to be, possibly even feeling a bit sorry for himself, you know, look at me cleaning this whole toilet with my one toothbrush, well get a sponge, get a cloth, you know, you don't need to use a toothbrush. Um, so I would say it doesn't look like soon, soon though is always, it's sort of relative isn't it, your soon might be someone else's eternity or, or vice versa, um, but what I can say is the energy I'm picking up right now is that he seems to still be guarded, he seems to still be um, sort of protecting himself. There's some fear here, um, a fear of, of maybe being out of control. Um, yeah, so this connection sort of challenges him in some way. I, please don't take it personally. Um, like I said, this is a kind of someone who's, who's not feeling grounded and confident within themselves, within this particular situation at this time. So, Give it a bit more time. The Seven of Wands obviously elevates to the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a lot more movement, communication, confidence. Um, so I think just, just give him some space and he'll naturally, you know, take these steps himself. But right now there seems to be a bit of guarded energy, a bit of um, sort of a need to self-protect here or a belief that he needs to self-protect. Okay, so I will leave it here now actually for real this time thank you everybody for watching um take care i'll see you on friday and we'll have a look at anything that's hidden anything in the 3d 5d something that's hidden from you maybe you and your person we'll just we'll just have a look see what you need to know that you might not be seeing yet okay bye